Hey everybody, it's Henry Steele, and today is March 2nd, 2021, which makes this the first weekly video for the month of March this year. Now, in this video, I want to show you something completely mathematical, and I'm going to do so on the Euro US dollar one hour chart. So, it's very simple, very, very simple. You take a nice, well defined swing, such as this one right here, and then measure it from the top right here to the lowest point right there and we find that it's 27 bars or candles with that number 27 we take that and then we're going to cube that number which means we multiply 27 by itself and then that number by 27 so 27 times 27 times 27 or if you have a calculator with the f function of cubing you can just use that so we take the cube of 27, which is 19,683, and then we find the square root of that number. So just find the square root. And then we have this number, which is the square root of the cubed 27. So in this case, 27 cubed, then finding the square root gives us 140, and that becomes our new number to use. So we simply start from the same spot, and then measure 140 candles into the future. And the point right there, or the 140th candle, should be a change in trend. Now what's very interesting about this is the halfway point is very, very frequently also a change in trend, as we see right here. So let's go ahead and move forward. We'll measure this swing up here. From this low right here up to we'll do this one right here that's the highest close but this one's just a tad bit higher right there so that's 44 bars so that's a much larger number 44 cubed 85,184 we find the square root of that number which is 291.86 so essentially 292 now, I'm going to scooch this all the way over to make sure we have enough room. I'm going to measure 292, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be in the future. Yep. 292 is right there, but our halfway point does yield us pretty decent results right there. So, now we have this downswing right here. We can go ahead and measure from that highest point right there to the low right there. 21 bars, 21 cubed, 9,261, find the square root, 96. So we measure from here, 96, right there, whoops, that's 97, but, so 96, 97 is right there, so 96 is right here. So we're getting the same topping area right here. And then the midpoint right here is essentially the bottoming area here. Now, of course, this is the one-hour chart, and it's the Euro US dollar, which is obviously open for 24 hours. So you're going to have the periods of time where there's low volatility versus increased volatility. But still, we did have the low point right here before we moved up just a few pips. So let's go ahead and measure from this low up here to this high. Continue our little investigation here. 23 bars, so we're going to 23 cubed, 12,167, find the square root, and we get 110. So as per before, we start at the same spot and measure 110 into the future, which is right here. Very minor retracement right there. And the halfway point was smack dab right on this low point right there. So that did pretty well. And again, we'll just move on from here, from this low, we'll measure all the way up here. 23, I think that's what I just did, right? <laughs> okay. So let's not measure that one again. But we'll start from right here down to this. Let me make sure I got the right one. Yep, down to this low right here is seven bars so that's what 343 i think seven cubed 
343, find the square root is 18.52, so 18 to 19, and 17, 18, 19, so we get this very minor little top right up here where you would just be able to scalp a few pips out of that one right there. All right, so let's move on from this low right here up to this high right here, 18 bars. And I think these are pretty much the same. Let's see. This one, the high was 21,747. And this was 21,746. So, okay, that first one right there. So, go here, but really, you could probably wind up using either one of those, but we'll use the first one. 18 cubed, 5,832. Find the square root is 76. Measure forward there, and 76 is right here, so it misses the exact low by a couple, and right here we're, we've missed this exact low by a couple also. So what would happen if we used, instead of 18 cubed, 19 cubed? How much of a difference do you think that would make? 6859 square root, so that's 8283 instead of 76, so that changes it a bit. So 83 takes us right to this minor top right there. There we go. And then the midpoint right there is essentially the breakout right here. Instead of changing trend right there, it becomes the halfway point of this trend, the failure of that, which is a very familiar concept to anyone who's been watching the channel for long enough. So move from either one of these down to the low. This one is six, that one was seven. So let's try six cubed. Square root is 15. So we find 15. And it's just in the middle of this consolidation area right there with this one kind of falling in between these two bars there. So it's like, eh, not that great. So if we go from this first one, we would have seven. And that was the 343, right? So seven cubed square root, 18 and a half. Let's see how well that works. There we go. Oops. 18.5. So, so we get a bit closer with this one right there. Either one, those are okay. They're not great. So if we continue on with this, we can move, instead of measuring to this swing, because we're going to have some shorter term ones, let's go ahead and use this whole move up right here to the top. See the high there is 22.429. It's 2232, so that's actually higher right there. So 24. And I think we're going to pretty much be in the future with this one. 24 cubed, 13,824. Find the square root is 117, 118. So, whoops. Make sure we get that. There we go. 117, 118 right there would be so this is in the future that would be our halfway point here is off by two candles from the big not the big top but the retracement top right there so again it's not too bad and anyway I'm sure by now you've gotten the idea and we've moved all through this point in time here taking pretty much all the decent swings so Anything that has a decent price movement to it, even if it's just a few candles, you can probably use that. If it's smaller like this right here, I wouldn't count that. I mean, you can try it and test it and see how well that works for you if this is something that you find interesting or useful, helpful in any way, shape, or form. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave this week's video here.